Number 17. Life Card 22 LR Pistol, $300. The Life Card is a single shot Derringer chambered in 22 LR. It folds up to resemble a credit card and is 3.375 inches long, 2.125 inches wide, and half an inch thick. It is hard to detect and incredibly easy to conceal, making it ideal for concealed carry. It is made from billet aluminum and they'll be releasing a polymer variant later this year. This model is one of the first generations of the Life Card and existed before the 22WMR version. The Trailblazer Life Card 22LR pistol is a fully ambidextrous gun with two toggles on the handle and barrel. It is easy to fold and unfold and can be ready to fire quickly from the folded position. The handle has a small compartment to store spare 22 LR rounds, but it makes a lot of noise while carrying the gun. The ergonomics of the gun aren't impressive, but the controls are small and simple, making it easy to load, cock, and fire the weapon. The Trailblazer Life Card 22 LR pistol is a tiny 22 LR Derringer with no sights. It has a stiff but short trigger and is difficult to shoot accurately. It has a little recoil, but is comfortable to fire over and over again. It is difficult to see the Life Card 22 LR in a self-defense role due to its slow deployment and low caliber. However, it is a unique design and will attract some attention at the range. The Life Card is a 22 LR pistol with a capacity of one round and a barrel length of 2.5 inches. It has a low accuracy and ergonomics, but is reliable and easy to conceal. It can be customized with a leather or Kydex holster, pocket sleeve, and a 22 WMR conversion barrel. It is a niche gun for curiosity and its interesting design, but not for serious self-defense. Number 16. Desert Eagle 50 AE $1,900 The Desert Eagle 50 AE was designed to be the semi-auto handgun capable of chambering the largest center-fire handgun cartridge in the world. It was designed by Magnum Research Inc. and produced by Israel Military Industries until 1995, when Sacco Defense took over production. The gun is massive and can come chambered in other calibers such as 44 Magnum and 357 Magnum. The rim of the 50 AE is the same size as the 44 Magnum and the case tapers slightly down to 54 inch to accommodate the 50 inch projectile. The rim of the 50 AE is the same size as the 44 Magnum and the case tapers slightly down to 54 to accommodate the 50 projectile. The Desert Eagle 50 AE is a single action handgun with a 6 inch barrel made of carbon steel. It has a 4 lug bolt and a port under the chamber where gas is rooted when a shot is fired. The recoil is extremely stout and the muzzle flash is bright. The gun has received a bad reputation for being prone to jams, but several owners have reported firing upwards of 1,000 rounds with no issues using factory loaded ammunition. Number 15 Browning High Power $1,200 the old adage is, never sell a gun. No matter how basic or utilitarian it may be, you'll inevitably regret it down the road. Some guns are meant to be cherished, and the Browning High Power is just one such beauty. When we talk about legendary firearms, the name of Browning High Power always comes up without fail. It is that classic beauty which has really stood the test of time with unfailing grace. If you aren't familiar with the Browning High Power, you're missing out on life. The Browning High Power is a single-action semi-automatic pistol available in the 9x19mm Parabellum and 40 s and calibers. It was based on a design by American firearms inventor John Browning and completed by Dudon Save at FN Herstal. Browning passed away in 1926, several years before the design was finalized. FN Herstal was a leading firearms manufacturer based in Herstal, Belgium and former vehicle manufacturer. Herstal continued to build guns for the Allied forces by moving their production line to a John Inglis and Company plant in Canada, where the name was changed to High Power. The name change was kept even after production returned to Belgium. The High Power is one of the most widely used military pistols in history, having been used by the armed forces of over 50 countries. Breaking the heart of many a gun enthusiast, after 82 years of continuous production, FN Herstal announced that the production of the High Power would end and it was discontinued in early 2018 by Browning Arms. From 2019 to 2022, with new Belgian high powers no longer being built, new clones were designed by various firearm companies to fill the void. These new high power clones began competing with each other by offering new finishes, enhanced sights, redesigned hammers, beveled magazine wells, improved trigger and increased magazine capacity. Commendable efforts meant to fill the gap left by a superb piece of firearm artistry these hybrids were unable to fill the remarkable shoes of their larger-than-life predecessor. 
In 2022, FN announced they would resume production of the Browning High Power. The 2022 FN High Power incorporated a number of entirely new features, such as a fully ambidextrous slide lock, simplified takedown method, enlarged ejection port, reversible magazine release, wider slide serrations, different colored finish offerings, and 17 round magazines. In contrast to popular belief, the new FN High Power might resemble a modern High Power, but it is in fact a different design. One of the noticeable details is the lack of Browning-style locking lugs. The heart of many a gun connoisseur still beats for the classic Browning High Power, and that's one irreplaceable masterpiece. If you've got it, hang on to it for dear life. Number 14. Colt Model 1873 $700 The Colt Single Action Army is a single action revolver handgun. It's an iconic piece of American history, and its name is revered by the masses. It was originally designed for the U.S. Government Service Revo Trials of 1872 by Colt's Patent Firearms Manufacturing Company and was adopted as the standard-issued pistol of the U.S. Army from 1873 until 1892. The Colt SAA has been offered in over 30 different calibers and various barrel lengths. Its overall appearance has remained consistent since 1873. Colt has cancelled its production twice but brought it back due to popular demand. Briefly, or not so briefly, the Colt M1873 is a single-action, six-shot solid-frame revolver. The cylinder is loaded by single rounds, located at the right side of the frame. Empty cases are ejected one by one through the opened loading gate by pulling back on the ejector rod, located under the barrel and to the right. The gun can be loaded and unloaded only when the hammer is set to half-cock position. Cylinder can be removed for cleaning and inspection. Since this handgun has no special drop-proof safeties, it is strongly recommended that it should be carried with the empty chamber under the hammer, with only five rounds loaded. America's love affair with the Colt is nowhere near to fizzling out. The revolver was dubbed the Peacemaker and is a famous piece of Americana and the American Wild West era due to its popularity with ranchers, lawmen, and outlaws alike. Today, they are mainly bought as memorabilia by collectors and reenactors. Its design has influenced the production of numerous other models from other companies. Number 13. Walter P38 $1000 The Walter P38 is a 9mm semi-auto pistol that was developed by Carl Walter GmbH as the service pistol of the Wehrmacht at the beginning of World War II. It was birthed to replace the comparatively complex and expensive to produce Luger P08. Due to Luger's shortcomings, Germany started to look for a replacement as early as 1927, settling on the Walter P38 in 1938 which offered similar performance to the Luger P08 but took almost half the time to produce. The P38 concept was accepted by the German military in 1938, but production of prototype pistols did not begin until late 1939. The third series pistol satisfactorily solved the previous problems for the German army, and mass production began in mid-1940. Most of the post-war P38 pistols were made with aluminum frames, only a handful of commercial pistols were made with steel frames. There were a couple of modifications of the P38, intended for police use, which appeared during the 1970s. The last commercial P38 pistol was manufactured in 2000. The Walter P38 is a short recoil operated locked breech pistol. The barrel is locked to the slide using a wedge-shaped locking piece which can tilt up and down below the barrel. This is while it follows the inclined surfaces of the frame. When the barrel and slide are in battery, the locking piece is in its upper position and its lugs securely lock the slide to the barrel. Upon recoil, the locking piece drops down and out of the engagement with the slide, unlocking it and allowing it to recoil and complete the reloading cycle. Because of its short slide, the P38 has two captive return springs located on either side of the frame and inside the slide. P38 pistols were fitted with a loaded chamber indicator in the form of a small pin that projected from the rear of the slide, above the hammer, when a cartridge was loaded into the chamber. Number 12 Sig Sauer P210 $2000 The Sig P210 is a locked breech self-loading semi-automatic pistol designed and manufactured at Neuhausen am Rheinfall, Switzerland by Sig from 1948 to 2006. It is of all-steel construction chambered in 9x19mm parabellum and 7.65x21mm parabellum. It was used from 1949 to 1975 by the Swiss Army and police units. It was also adopted and is still in service with the military of Denmark in 1951 by the German Bundespolizei and in shooting sports. The pistols were decommissioned by the Swiss Army and replaced by the Sig Sauer P220 developed in 1975. Swiss production of the P210 continued until 2006. 
In 2022, Sig Sauer released the P210 Carry originally debuted at the 2010 SHOT Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. The P210 Carry is a pistol chambered in 9x19 Parabellum with a capacity of 8 plus 1. The P210 Carry is lighter and smaller than the original P210, featuring an alloy frame and a 4.1-inch barrel instead of the 4.7-inch barrel on the original P210. It also differs because it has new additions such as the front slide serrations, the nitron finish, and the black Hogue G10 grips for a more aggressive and modern look. It's a thing of pure beauty meant for gun collectors and should remain on your case. Number 11. Colt Detective Special $800 The Colt Detective Special is a 6-shot carbon steel frame, 2-inch or 3-inch barrel double-action revolver and the first example of a class of firearms known as snub-nose revolvers. Made by Colt's manufacturing company, this model revolver, as the name Detective Special suggests, was intended to be a concealed weapon used by plainclothes police detectives. Introduced in 1927, the Detective Special was the first short-barreled revolver produced with a modern swing-out frame. It was designed from the outset to be chambered for high-powered cartridges such as the 38 Special, considered to be a powerful caliber for a concealable pocket revolver of the day. Although the Detective Special proved to be an instant success when first introduced, Lackluster sales saw the elimination of the Detective Special from the product line in 1996. John Henry Fitzgerald, an employee of Colt Firearms from 1918 to 1944, first came up with the Fitz Special snub nose revolver concept around the mid-1920s when he modified a 38 Special Colt Police Positive Special Revolver by shortening the barrel to 2 inches, shortening the ejector rod, bobbing the hammer spur, rounding the butt, and removing the front half of the trigger guard. Reshaping the hammer and the butt allows the gun to be drawn quickly with little risk of the weapon snagging on clothing. The halved trigger guard facilitates quick trigger acquisition even for shooters with larger fingers or gloves. Extremely handy as compared to its bulkier counterparts with their flashy long barrels, this snub-nosed firearm is compact enough for easy concealment, becoming a favorite for a more specialized target clientele. The Colt Detective Special was a popular weapon before the semi-automatic pistol replaced the revolver in many police departments, government agencies and militaries. Myanmar Police Force and some other countries are still using them as officer sidearms. Though replaced, it has a dedicated fan following and this is one piece which will remain a fan favorite for the future. Number 10. Luger P08 $2000 The Pistol Parabellum or Parabellum Pistol, commonly known as just the Luger or Luger P08, is a toggle-locked, recoil-operated semi-automatic pistol. The Luger was produced in several models and by several nations from 1898 to 1949. The design was first patented by Georg Luger. It was meant to be an improvement of the Borchardt C93 pistol. The Luger was officially adopted by the Swiss military in 1900, the Imperial German Navy in 1906, and the German Army in 1908. The Luger was the standard service pistol of Switzerland, Portugal, the Netherlands, Brazil, Bolivia, and Bulgaria. It was widely used in other countries as a military service pistol and by police forces. In the German Army service, it was adopted in a slightly modified form as the Pistol Model 1908 in caliber 9x19mm Parabellum. The Model 08 was eventually succeeded by the Walter P38. The Luger has a toggle lock action that uses a jointed arm to lock, as opposed to the slide actions of many other semi-automatic pistols such as the M1911. After a round is fired, the barrel and toggle assembly travel roughly 13 mm rearward due to recoil, both locked together at this point. Though replaced, this firebrand weapon is a legendary piece of art, synonymous with the SS and German army officers. It is the reminder of a bygone era, venerated for its connection with a time of great feats of heroism. Number 9. Colt M1911 $1000 John Browning, arguably one of the U.S.'s most iconic and talented weapon designers, designed what would become one of the most widely produced, copied, and recognizable pistols in history, now known today as the M1911. The M1911 is a single-action, recoil-operated, semi-automatic pistol, chambered for the 45 ACP cartridge. Though it made its combat debut during World War I, the design really came into its own during World War II. During that conflict, the design's worth was solidified. Millions of M1911s were produced for not only the U.S., but for other allied countries as well. Post-war, the U.S. relied on the M1911 design during the Korean War and during Vietnam, though by the 1980s, the design was beginning to show its age. A replacement was found in Beretta's M9 pistol, chambered in the smaller 9x19mm Parabellum. 
Despite the widespread adoption of Beretta's small, higher-capacity pistol, the M1911 remained a mainstay in the Marine Corps among certain specialized groups like some reconnaissance units as well as among some MEU SOC personnel. The pistol is incredibly robust, able to withstand a great amount of abuse and remains reliable even after decades of serves and tens of thousands of rounds. The M1911 was widely copied, and this operating system rose to become the preeminent type of the 20th century and of nearly all modern centerfire pistols. It is popular with civilian shooters in competitive events such as the International Defensive Pistol Association and International Practical Shooting Confederation. And, despite no longer enjoying the widespread success that it once did as the U.S.'s standard issue service pistol, the iconic M1911 design is still manufactured by Colt, as well as by a number of other firearm manufacturers in the U.S. and elsewhere abroad. Not too bad for a pistol originally designed at the beginning of the last century. Number 8. M1 Garand $2,000 Garand Rifle, also called M1 Rifle Semi-Automatic Gas-Operated 30 caliber Rifle, was adopted by the U.S. Army in 1936. It was developed by John C. Garand, a civilian engineer employed at the Springfield Armory, Springfield, Mass. The Garand was the first semi-automatic military rifle used as a standard combat shoulder weapon. The M1 Garand was designed in 1924 and adopted in 1936 by the U.S. by equipping all its infantry, with the exception of one man in each squad who used a bolt-action rifle for precision shooting sniping so that the American infantry was the only fully equipped nation on earth with a semi-automatic rifle during the war. It was replaced by the M14 in 1957, but saw frontline service until 1965, and is still used by the American military as a drill and ceremonial arm. The M1 Garand is widely regarded by firearms enthusiasts and historians as the greatest and most respected American service rifle of all time. In a world of bolt-action Car 98Ks, Carcanos, and Arisakas, the GI's semi-automatic M1 Garand rifle was a game-changer on the battlefield. Its higher rate of fire, higher magazine capacity, and fast reloading, combined with its accuracy and reliability, effectively provided overmatch to the enemy's bolt-action rifles. These features endeared it to the soldiers who carried it into harm's way. GIs loved it, the enemy respected it, and today, firearm collectors seek them out. M1 rifles remain hugely popular with both collectors and shooters and it is not a replaceable art piece. Number 7. Smith & Wesson Model 29 $1,400 Any old-school action film fan will instantly recognize the name. Clint Eastwood was the titular character in the opening scene to the original Dirty Harry film from 1971. The gun in question is also the original, i.e. the Smith & Wesson Model 29, the first gun chambered for the 44 Magnum cartridge. Let's take a look at this iconic revolver and cartridge combo. The Model 29 will chamber and fire 44 Special and 44 Russian cartridges, as the 44 Magnum was developed from the 44 Special and the 44 Special was developed from the 44 Russian. The Magnum case is slightly longer to prevent Magnum rounds from being chambered and fired in handguns chambered for the 44 Special. An unparalleled piece of deadly gadgetry, this baby will remain the star of your shelf if you hang on to it. Number 6. Russian SKS Rifle $1,000 World War II changed warfare. Slowly, people realized that the full-powered bolt-action battle rifle was quickly becoming outdated. The Russians did more, then realized that bolt-action rifles were obsolete. They realized the benefits of an intermediate cartridge over a full-powered rifle cartridge. Within this new reality, SKS stands for Samor Zatarinej Karabin Systemi Simonova and is a fascinating rifle. The SKS utilizes a gas-operated short-stroke gas piston system. This short-stroke piston is simple but robust and reliable in adverse conditions. The SKS uses a simplified system compared to the AVS-36 and is much more reliable. The SKS had a built-in bayonet. The firing pin design initially utilized a spring to capture it, but Russia eventually moved to a free-floating firing pin. The SKS weighed 8.5 pounds and was 40 inches long overall with a 20-inch barrel. It's a big rifle, but for the time, it was somewhat compact. It is an awesome rifle. Its simplistic design lacks the pizzazz and modularity of modern weapons for sure, but it's still fun to shoot. The little rifle might not have reached legendary status, but it's not a weapon to be underestimated in the hands of a skilled shooter, retaining its special status amongst gun enthusiasts. Number 5. SVD Dragonov the SVD Dragunov rifle first appeared in 1963 and has been one of the most prized infantry trophies ever since. 
It is a semi-automatic weapon that uses the same operating principles as the AK-47 assault rifle but is allied to a revised gas operating system. SVD Dragunov is a designated marksman rifle, mostly mistaken for a regular sniper rifle. The SVD has a long barrel, but the weapon is so balanced that it handles well and recoil is not excessive. The weapon is typically fired using a sling rather than the bipod favored elsewhere, and to assist aiming, a PSO-1 telescopic sight is provided. This is secured to the left-hand side of the receiver and has a magnification of times 4. The barrel breech is locked through a left rotating bolt and uses three locking lugs to engage corresponding locking recesses in the barrel extension. The rifle has a hammer-type striking mechanism and a manual lever safety selector. The SVD was only designed for semi-automatic fire. The firearm is operated by a short-stroke gas piston system with a two-position gas regulator. The gas regulator can be set with the help of the rim of a cartridge. The rifle is fed from a detachable curved box magazine with a 10-round capacity and the cartridges are double-stacked in a staggered zigzag pattern. Several military-issue alternative telescopic sights with varying levels of magnification and reticles are available for the SVD. You wouldn't want to face an enemy armed with one in combat. In most cases, due to sniper tactics and the rifle's ability, the soldier armed with one could maintain enough distance to lay down lethal fire while being out of range of soldiers armed with standard assault rifles of various types, setting its name in stone for your go-to sniper rifle. Number 4. Beretta M9A4 $1100 M9A4 RDO full-size DASA semi-auto pistol represents the pinnacle of Beretta M9 pistols. The M9A4 is now optics ready and features dovetailed tritium night sights with an incredibly clean trigger. The thin Vertec grip panels allow a large variety of hand sizes to get comfortable on the gun. The frame has an integrated Picatinny rail for a light or laser. Proudly built in the USA, the new M9A4 is designed to be ideal for any tactical situation including home and personal defense, tactical competitions, and duty carry in any condition. Number 3. Colt Python $1900 Known primarily as a duty, hunting, and target revolver, Colt reintroduced the Python in guns and ammos April 2020 issue with the 41, 4, and 6-inch barrel configurations. First introduced with a 6-inch barrel, original series Pythons were eventually offered with 21 and 2, 3, 4, and 8-inch barrels. None were as common as the 4- and 6-inch barrel versions. The 3-inch remains the rarest of the previous generations of production Python revolvers. Hence, the 2022 reintroduction of this barrel length is a long-awaited return. In its introduction, Colt had to convince baby boomers and Generation X that its modern manufacturing lives up to the reputation of the once hand-fit Pythons. The Python is based on the medium-size I-frame, which is similar to the older E-frame, but with the firing pin mounted in the frame instead of on the hammer. The Python might seem like an unwieldy choice for everyday carry, even with an abbreviated barrel, but to many it makes perfect sense. Not everyone lives in suburbia, and there are still plenty of spaces where the threat from four-legged predators is as real as a threat from two-legged ones. As a defense system against predatory dangers from both sides of the animal kingdom, it's a firearm worth keeping. Number 2. Glock G20 $700 It's a full-size gun chambered in a badass 10mm cartridge. It deserves some love, too. Glock itself has a cool history, but we'll stick to just the G20 this time. In 1990, Glock released the G20, and just like that, one of the favorite 10mm hit the market. This specific model has been floating around for about three decades, and over the years it's gone through the expected changes of each generation. It's a 10mm, of course, and in classic Glock double-stack form. The G20 has a capacity of 15 plus 1 and isn't really that heavy, even loaded. Its empty weight is 27.51 ounces and its loaded weight is 39.86 ounces. The G20 has a 4.61-inch barrel, a height of 5.51 inches, and an overall length of 8.07 inches, so you're unlikely to use this one for concealed carry. The Gen 4 G20 is built to last. And last. And last. So don't make the mistake of letting go of this baby. Number 1. Beretta 1301 Tactical $1500 This is the ultimate combat scatter shot. While there are a few different models of 1301 floating around, this is the version for anyone who wants a reliable semi-auto shotgun. It does a great job doing what a shotgun is supposed to do and eats up everything you could throw at it. Its design is one of a kind. The 1301's elongated handguard runs almost the length of the entire barrel. That chunky charging handle is kind of hard to miss. Admittedly, the 1301's oversized fire controls are one of the coolest parts of the shotgun. 
The new and improved Beretta 1301 Tactical Gen 2 model features enlarged controls, a cold hammer-forged backboard barrel, and the Beretta blink gas operation, allowing for 36% faster cycling than the competition. An oversized charging handle, large heavily textured bolt release, and oversized reversible safety button, these features make it easy to use in all weather or lighting conditions, due to its secure grip, even with gloves. The synthetic stock is adjustable for length of pull with provided spacers, to ensure a fit that will always come up naturally to your shoulder and point easily. A cold hammer-forged backboard barrel dissipates recoil away from the hand and greatly reduces muzzle flip. A handy fighting machine, it deserves pride of place in your cabinet. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.